another Simply Schmidt episode, and in today's episode, we are here at a Japan Chipotle. And if you don't know anything about us, then, well, you didn't know that we absolutely are obsessed with Chipotle. It's our favorite thing in the whole world to eat in America. And since we moved here in Japan, we've been we've been kind of sad that we left our sweet old Chipotle, but now we feel like it's almost here again. And you're probably wondering, where's my dad? Well, today we are joined by Sophia. Hi. So Sophia, can you tell us a bit about your palate? Well, I'm a pretty picky eater. Yeah. So you'd be getting some information from somebody who, like, is really picky and stuff. And doesn't eat a lot of things. That's usually why she's usually not on the videos, but Dad couldn't make it today, well, because he's busy with work. But now, we're here with my sister, and you can get a picky perspective of the food now, so we can go ahead and dig in. But before we dig in, I have to ask you a crucial question, Sophia. Do you like Chipotle? I love Chipotle. It's something that I really like and miss. If you're in the U.S. right now, go get some Chipotle, because we love it. So let's go and eat. All right, guys, so before we dig into these nachos, we got an array of food, so we got burrito, a rice bowl, and then here we have the nachos, which look pretty nice. But first, let's start off with the nachos. So just to clarify, these nachos are steak nachos. So here on the nachos, we have chips. It looks like they have some cheese, sour cream, jalapenos, and then, of course, the steak, and then some tomatoes on there. So let's go ahead and dig in. Sophia, do you like nachos? Uh, they're pretty good. I like certain things on my nachos. So. Well, let's dig in then. All right, guys, so this dip looks amazing. Let's eat. Guys, these nachos were amazing. The chips were crispy like all chips. The cheese was nice and melting. The steak was like, so tender and juicy. And then those jalapenos had a very nice sweetness to it. All in all, great nachos. They were really good. I liked the steak. The steak was like the perfect, like it was perfect. It was perfectly cooked. And the guacamole tastes really good. The chips are not soggy. So it's, overall, I really liked it. So usually the chips in Chipotle, they look a bit different, but they're, they're like, covered in salt, which we really enjoy, which we miss. But still, this is a still a nice substitute to it. We liked it so far. All right guys, so here we have the burrito bowl, which is called a rice bowl here, in which it has rice, meat, guacamole, cheese, and beans. So let's dig in. I'm gonna get some more guacamole because the guacamole in the Chipotle in the US was always my favorite. So let's try this. This all in all, I mean, does have the flavor like the US, but I mean, it still isn't that bad of a substitute. But I mean, the thing that I really liked in this dish was the beef. The beef is really nice and tender. That's the one that I really like, but it's very undersalted. It needs more salt. What do you think, Sophia? The beef is well cooked. The guacamole tastes really good but the rice could use some lemon. Yeah, it needs, it needs some lemon or salt. That's the thing that we love most about the rice in the Chipotle in the US. Also, the cilantro in the rice really brought out the flavor too, but all in all, I give it a six out of 10. Mm, five at least. All right guys, so next here we have a grande burrito. And you're probably asking, what is a grande burrito? Well, here in the Frijoles, here in Japan, they have a small burrito, which they call the regular, and they have the grande burrito, which is this burrito, which I know it seems small compared to the one in, in the US, that's kind of like the regular size. But still, I mean, this is big, this is big for here in Japan in general. Actually, the menu itself has not, like I said before, not the widest selection, but this is how it works. You tell them the size of the menu item you chose, and then there's like lists of steps that you choose. It's pretty much almost the same thing when you walk through and then you just tell them what you want. But like I said earlier, there's a smaller selection. So now let's move on to this grande burrito, which it's got a good amount of the menu items in it, 
I think I got about like three quarters of the menu items, so we can get a nice selection in this burrito in general. So I got, in this burrito specific, I got rice, I got half chicken, half carnitas, I got corn, and then I got the guacamole, the cheese, the sour cream, and then pinto beans with the rice. Do I have a first bite? Let me check. So let's get into this. It's so delicious. Wow. They put different spices in the meat here, and I'm telling you, that's like an explosive flavor bomb there. That is probably the best thing I've had here next to the nachos. Wow, this is like extremely good. This one is easily a not eight out of 10. I really liked it. I love probably be like an 8.5. I like really, really liked it. All right guys, so now we're gonna finish eating all this nice delicious food and then we're gonna give you an overview of what we thought about this Chipotle in Japan in general compared to the US. All right guys, so our experience here in the Frijoles here in Japan was an interesting experience. Not our, not the best experience if you compare it to Chipotle in America. But there were a couple things that really popped out on, on us that we really noticed compared to the ones in, Japan, in the U.S. So do you have any that stuck out to you, Sophia? I really like the nachos and I like your burrito. Those but, are my two favorites. But did anything like stick out to you, like something you didn't like that you missed? Uh, I missed the salty chips and I missed the um, lemony rice. Yeah, that rice, we kind of wish it was like the one back in the US where it was like lemony with some cilantro and the chips weren't that salty. And then in the meat in general, it had some weird spices in it. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was like Japanese spice, but those are a couple things that really stuck out to us. And it was pretty expensive compared to the one in Japan. So usually a regular American Chipotle meal would be around 30 bucks here, but just what we got was $55 with the current Japanese yen to American dollars exchange rate, which is pretty high. So you will be getting a good amount of money back and with this exchange rate if you come to Japan during this time period before it goes down. To be fair to Frijoles, we were comparing it to our favorite restaurant in the whole entire world, the Chipotle in America. And the Chipotle in America is amazing, which I would rate it 10.5 out of 10 because it's probably up there with my top three best restaurants ever in this world. But the one here, I'd probably give it a six out of 10. Just can't go up to the high standards of the Chipotle in America, which is absolutely amazing. The Chipotle in America, I gave a 10 out of 10, but that's my favorite restaurant. So, Frijoles would be about a 6.5. The food here cannot compare with the Chipotle, but that doesn't mean stop exploring delicious foods here in Japan. Don't let this discourage you to come try it. We, they will welcome you to come try it. But that is gonna be the end of the video. So if you just wanna see what we're doing in our daily lives outside of YouTube, then make sure you go check out our Instagram account, at Simply Schmidt. If you just wanna see the family having some fun, then make sure to go check out our TikTok account, Simply Schmidt. Make sure to like and subscribe.